So, I just got back from doing a couple trades and fun stuff like that. I picked up some great stuff, actually. I'm really excited to show you guys. But instead, right now, I'm going to talk to you about something so stupid. I personally think this is... This is just madness, and the thing is, the buck doesn't stop here. If you want more detailed info, you can uh, you can go to um, Alpha Omega Sin. He did two videos about this, uh, separate ones, but I'm gonna do just a small thing here to update you on some of the some of the bullshit that's going on. In case you haven't seen these videos yet, um, apparently over in Australia. GTA 5 has been pulled from two different stores, Kmart and Target. And it started with Target. And it's just the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard of in my life. I mean, talk about losing rights slowly as a country. Um, and the right to just buy the video games that you want to play. But, oh my god, just... It says here, I'm reading a... a um, uh, news article here. I'll put links down below. Um, shops in Australia have pulled Grand Theft Auto 5 from their shelves in response to a petition demanding sales of the game stop because of its depiction of violence against women. Wake the fuck up, people! I mean, we're in 2014. Do you know when Grand Theft Auto started? Probably 10 years ago now. With Grand Theft Auto 1 for the PlayStation. Yes, it wasn't the best graphics. And no, you couldn't literally see little... You couldn't see the graphics that you do now with the women. And whatever. You you don't see those amazing graphics of that stuff happening. But you know what? This video game is diverse enough where online I've been told you could play as a female protagonist. Which means you could go and pimp slap some guy on it. So... Just violence against women. This this shit in video games has been going on for a little while. It's just all of a sudden now dawning on you that, oh, we need to pull this video game off of stores because because it's fucking it's messing with the rights of a woman. No, it's not. No, it's not. This this bullshit is all part of the the first fucking amendment. The freedom of speech and everything it entails. What If you don't like the game, you have the freedom to not buy it. To not look at it. You even have the freedom to tell people, Hey, you shouldn't buy this game because this, this, and this. However, to go out of your way to take when there's people out there who are abusing women and it has nothing to do with video games, instead of going out there... And trying to be crime fighters and fucking just put them behind bars or whatever. You decide, oh hey, we're going to get a bunch of people together. We're going to make this nice little petition. And we're going to try and get this game pulled off the store shelves. And that way, we're stopping crime. Get a freaking badge. And get a gun and a holster and everything. If you want to go fight crime, go fight crime. This, this whole crap about video games, like, being violent and everything that they are now. And there's so many of them out there. Which, which brings to the point that Alpha Omega Sin made very clear, where does it stop? And the thing is, it does stop when someone finally says, stop, and no to these people. But, this is just getting ridiculous. It, and two, two stores, Target and Kmart, have done this, and they stopped selling the games in Australia. But you know what? They're gonna fucking get around anyway. And not to mention, there are people out there who don't want to pay your ridiculous prices for these games. And it's just, it just blows my mind that these people think that this is just such, such a big deal. Oh, there's violence against women in video games. Well, guess what? There's also violence against men in video games, too. You see guys shooting guys all the time. Just look at all the Call of Duties. Then you have fucking... Then you even have, like I said, you have you can be a female in GTA 5, and you can go shoot a bunch of guys. You could shoot a bunch of girls. You could probably shoot dogs and all that other stuff. It's just ridiculous. 
all if any of you out there watching this video think that I'm stupid for saying this and thinking that this is ridiculous, I I don't really know what to say to you other than you're wrong. This is wrong. I understand that violence in video games is a big deal and the fact that sometimes it 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 looks like it promotes violence, but you know what? It's just a video game. There aren't people out there who pick up GTA 5 and think, oh, I could rob a bank. It could be possible. Here's a simulator that shows me how I can do it. Now I'm going to go do it. And those idiots who decide to go do that, they're going to fucking get caught. So, just, you need to just push, pump the brakes a little bit and shut the fuck up. Because that's just, that's just freaking crazy stupid on a level that just cannot be comprehended. And you know what? I would love to go through this entire article that I'm going through, but you know what? It's not even worth my time. The people that are petitioning this, honestly talking about them and talking about this is not worth my time. The only reason why I'm bringing it up is because I'm here to say one thing. That everything that's going on in Australia as to the promotion and the the um the selling of gta 5 and them pulling it off the shelves due to a few people who got their friggin uh panties in an uproar you're wrong that is wrong you are limiting people's first amendment right by trying to pull this game off of shelves and where does it stop when we finally tell you to stop the thing is is that people like me aren't going to be able to go up to people like them and say stop and then they'll do it. I'm just one guy. It's the companies. Once once the companies get their heads out of their very little tight asses, they'll eventually see that this is just completely stupid and completely asinine to pull one game off the shelf. And until they actually do that, you're going to see this happen a few more times, and I will not post videos about it because this is the only one I need to post. What they're doing is wrong, and if you think it's right, honestly, it's just my opinion that this is wrong. But honestly, I do feel like this is absolutely wrong because there are other games out there that promote violence and even promote it against women, and they're not getting pulled off of shelves. And the thing is, is the minute that they start getting pulled off the of shelves, I'm just going to sit back and be pissed off about it like I am right now. This is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Um, I would love to know your thoughts and comments. I mean, it's if do you think I'm stupid for thinking that, or do I actually have a good point here? And do everyone who is against this have a good point? Any, any thoughts, comments, criticisms on it? Down below, I'll link the article that I was reading from and quoting from in here. And I'll also link Alpha Omega Sin's videos from um, this same topic because he hits the nail right on the fucking head. I can only do so much. I basically, I hear about these news stories from him and other YouTubers. And I get a few off on my own. But uh, I just, this was one that was semi-noteworthy of putting up on here so thoughts and comments down below be sure to like the video comment and subscribe down below if you like what i do here and if not well you don't have to watch first amendment right you don't have to watch it's just up here in case if there is two or three people out there in youtube world that want to watch my shit so thoughts and comments down below like comment subscribe i've already said all this we'll see you guys later game on